Hey guys, good morning. New hairstyles for the brand new school year. We are live and local at Great Clips coming up after the break. And that is what we are doing this morning, getting the kids ready for back to school. And those of you who have kids know that getting them fed, dressed, and out the door on time can be kind of a hassle sometimes. Well, we're making it easy for you guys this morning with stylish back to school haircuts and hairstyles here with Stephanie Coleman, lead stylist at Great Clips right here in Colorado Springs. And also, Sam, you are in fourth grade at Parkview Elementary, right? Yeah. Not back to school yet, though, right? You got a little bit more time, the 22nd. Mm -hmm. All right, so Stephanie, show us what Sam's hair style, what you got going on, and things that we can do with it. She's got more easy maintenance hair, so with hers, it's very easy to just get up, wash, and go. She's got more of a one length, no layers or anything like that, so it creates a very convenient style. Uh, so she just gets up, washes it, lets it dry, and goes. A lot of parents are doing a little bit more of the faddish styles where it's a little bit shorter in the back and gradually gets longer towards the front. And you can kind of uh, finagle with that and go a little bit shorter and get a little bit more funky with it. But Very yeah, this cool. is a little bit more of a convenient style. Low maintenance. I yes, love it. I'm all about the low maintenance, especially when you're waking up super early in the morning. I know all about that. Yes, ma'am. All right. And then we have Madison. You are at Skyview Middle School, right? Eighth yep. grader? Yep. All right, and you're already back in school. You're the only one out of all these kids that have woken up this early that is back in school. Thank you for being here this morning. All right, so you've got some really cool color going on in your hair. Tell me about that, Stephanie. She gets a little bit more funky. So, yes, yeah, so it's getting very popular where they're doing more of the peekaboo color, where it's just the color underneath and they're natural on top. So it creates a little bit of fun. Um, Nothing too crazy. Nothing a lot, too crazy. A lot do uh, more of a temporary color. Some do permanent. Some do a spray in. So whatever the parents like. Very cool. So if you want it to wash out, it won't. It won't be too hard. Right? No, ma'am. All right, guys. We have tips for you all morning long, including styles for dads. That's a big one. So listen up, dads. Uh, Craig, maybe even you can uh, get some tips for your little ones <laughs> this morning here at Great Clips. I'm all ears, man. Just give me the information. Whatever makes It'll it easier <laughs> for mom and dad to get the hair ready in the morning. We like. All right, Lauren, thanks. Hey, guys, we have got the coolest do's for the dudes coming up after the break just in time for school. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Here in Lauren McDonald is live and local at Great Clips for what's too cool for school this year. Lauren, good morning. Good morning. That's right, Craig. Short hair, long hair. We don't care this morning. We are just getting the hottest styles for everybody here at Great Clips because school is back in session. Some have been in school for a while. Some are starting today right here in Colorado Springs. And a few have about another week or two here with Stephanie Coleman. And we're here with Emily, a sixth grader at Grizzly Elementary. Now, she's got sort of a shorter hairdo. Yes. So this is another very low maintenance Hairstyle, very low like, maintenance. Which is nice. I think a lot of the middle schoolers and junior high are starting to do a little bit more sassy and short and easy maintenance as well. And same, especially if they've got really thick hair and they don't want to spend the time styling it. Just a little bit of product and just kind of style it the way you like it with your fingers and kind of get funky with it. And there you go. And the messy look is, is yes, ma'am. So yes, the bed head. It's in. It's yes. stylish, yes. right? You think it wouldn't be, but yes, it is. All right, very good. You look awesome. All right, now let's go over to my friend Jake here. And he's got some really cool designs in his. Yes, getting very popular with the boys these days is not the typical mohawk where you would just shave it up and let it go. Uh, a lot of parents now are getting into more of the faded look where they can wear it down. They don't feel like they have to spike it every single day. And then, yes, the designs are getting very popular. So we have coupled lines right here. And then Jake here is on a football team, so he likes to show team spirit and get uh, a V-shaped in the back of his head for his team name. Very nice. What's your team name? Vikings. The Vikings. You're a football player in elementary school, right? You go to Patriot Elementary? Yeah, but it's Pop Warner. It's Pop Warner is the football team. Very nice. Well, we hope you play quarterback and you play receiver, right? Mm -hmm. You're an all-star. He's an all-star. We're making all your kids all-stars with the help of Stephanie this morning and Great Clips, making sure that you guys have stylish hair for back to school. Because we all know it is very important to look our best. That way we're going to learn our best, right? That exactly. kid plays quarterback and receiver. He throws to himself. He's <laughs> the most talented right. kid in Southern Colorado. It's amazing. Yep, exactly. That's awesome. Yep. And the hair to go with it, too. Lauren, thanks. <laughs> We're not cutting class, we are cutting for class 
after the break, high school styles and cuts to make sure your high schoolers go back to school in style. That's next. Desperate to find a new do for your kid. We've got all the latest hair trends for back to school this morning. Right now, Laura McDonald is live and local to great clips with stylish suggestions to make sure your kids start the school year right. Lauren, good morning. Good morning. That's right. I have a pair of scissors in my hand. I got to <laughs> tell you guys, when I used to have Barbies when I was little, I used to go to town and then they would be destroyed. Not going to yeah, do that. That with these hair guys does not grow back morning. more. No. <laughs> I know, I know. We are talking about high school looks with the hair right now here with Stephanie Coleman at Great Clips, lead stylist. And we've got Abby right here. You're going to be a freshman this year, so a very big year for you. Are you excited? Yeah. You're going to go to Central High School in Pueblo, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so you have very thick uh, and wavy hair. Yes. Wavy hair. So the biggest problem with, with a hair like this is that you'll wake up in the morning and it'll be very frizzy, right? Yes, especially with the dry climate. So uh, to kind of tame the frizz and all of that, it helps to do uh, just a little bit of water and a little bit of mousse or anything that's going to bring that curl out and tame that frizz down. Very nice. So it's, that's another easy style. We're all about the low maintenance this morning, which I yes. love. And then a very popular look we're going to show right now. Yes. Ariana Grande. This is very popular because of her. So kind of explain what this look is. Is so a be. lot of girls are starting to do insane. Very easy maintenance is just doing some ponytails, either two ponytails or one ponytail at the top and letting the rest of their hair kind of flow down. And you can have more of a clean look where you would just part it a little bit more clean with the comb or you can have it a little bit more tousled and a little bit more messy and just pull up. If you have a little bit of thinner hair or fine hair, all you'll do is just take the comb, kind of tease it a little bit, give it a little bit of thickness at the top, twist it, and it's just working it until how you like it. So some will do more of a smaller bun, and some will do more of a messy bun, and you'll just wrap that around. Very cool. Stick a bobby pin in there. And then it kind of holds Very for the day. Nice. And then you'll do one on the other side too. Yes, so ma'am. Matches. We'll do that later. We got to get to my friend Devin over here. You are a junior yeah. at Coronado High School, right? And you've got kind of the I like to call this the soccer cut. I don't yes. know. I don't know why. I just feel like a lot of soccer players wear this haircut. It's got a couple different names. I think it is very popular with the soccer players. And then it, a lot of kids kind of call it the comb over look, kind of a clean classic look. And then same, still doing a little bit of a design, not too crazy on the bottom, but just doing a hard part just to define where you're going to part the hair. Very nice. And you can wear it probably messy or slick back. Yep, you can like do Devin classic back, yep. messy, over to the very side. Very nice. It's like. very versatile, which is good. Yes, ma'am. Good for everybody. Yes. Thank you so much, Stephanie. No, you guys, you. we have looks that are going to be super easy for dads. You know, if mom's out of town, if she's at a meeting, whatever the case may be, Craig, we're going to get you squared away when it comes to the the hair for the little girls <laughs> and for little boys, yes. too. Okay. So, okay. so make sure you keep watching. It's easy, I promise. Lauren, I hear that, that Stephanie has a great personality. Yeah, she's a real cut up. She does. <laughs> Real cut up, yes, I see. Well, what would you guys do if I just went full Britney Spears oh right now? Oh my goodness! <laughs> I want the Lauren McDonald. Take Can it off, come that? on, come on, all right. Lauren. No, I can't. I can't. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Seven twenty-five, right? Now. Hey guys, coming up after the break, we've got do's that even dads can do. We're going to show you what they are coming up next. Their best. That's right. Let's get right to. Uh, Laura McDonald, she is live and local right now this morning. Hey, Laura, good morning to you. I love this. Do's that dads can do. And I have a question for you. What do you call a bunch of rabbits hopping backwards? What do you call a bunch of rabbits hopping backwards? I have no idea, Craig. What do you call a bunch of rabbits hopping backwards? A receding hairline. A hair? <laughs> Hairline, a hairline. There you go. That's a good one. I like that one. We are talking about dudes for the dads. Craig, listen up. This one's for you and all the dads out there. We have got Madison here. She's got some beautiful hair. And we've also got Stephanie Coleman, lead stylist here at Great Clips. Now, do's that the dads can do. Yes. Very important. Very, very important. Especially for the young ladies. Yes. All right, yes. so show me what to do. So we're going to do. Or tell me what to do, and we'll see if I can get it. We're just going to do a ponytail. Very simple ponytail. All right. And what you're going to do is brush the hair back. If you like it to where there's no flyaways, uh -huh. you'll just throw a little bit of product in the front just to keep those edges down. Typically, this what's in style now is more of the messy look, and a few flyaways okay. is nothing bad. Let me give you that. You're going to throw a rubber band around that. 
Am I hurting you? No. Okay, good. good. All right. You'll pull it out a little bit. Okay. I'm trying really hard not to hurt you. Oh, now, I'm obviously not a dad, but I'm also not a hairstylist. <laughs> So, this is a little bit comparable, right? Yes. And, right. It, and it's a little stylish, but very, very easy. This and is the upside down ponytail? Yes. All right, so. Grab your fingers through there. This. You'll grab So, we just hair. made a hole, guys. Dad, see that? You just made a hole, and then you're going to pull it around. And look at that. You even see the pink. You are going, girl. You do it. That is what I am talking about. That looks so good. Yes, very so quick easy. style. Very quick style. All right, now let's come over here yes. to Abby, and you show me what we're going to do, what Dad is going to do for Abby. So Abby's got a lot more hair, so sometimes it can be a little bit more challenging to work with. Best important thing to do is you're going to grab um, hair brushes and mm -hmm. combs that are a little bit bigger right. so you can get through the hair. I'm going to let you go to work. And we're going to see that in a second. Now, guys, like we said, this is do's for dads. Super easy. Look it up on Pinterest. Look it up on YouTube. There's all kinds of tutorials out there. You're going to see Abby's hairstyle when we come back in our next segment. She's going to be looking beautiful. And the important thing is just to get it out of their face, right? Because the messy look is in. So, Craig, did you learn something? I can do that uh, ponytail, no doubt. Absolutely. <laughs> He's I, got the dad jokes. I do it now, and I'm pulling the hair, and my daughter, her hair is going... You see, dad, it hurts, it hurts. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Test it out on Taylor. <laughs> Test it oh, out on Taylor. No. Yeah. Lauren, okay. stop. Come here. Ah! <laughs> okay. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> 746, right now, here's another live look outside. Partly cloudy skies. More storms possible this time. What is still ahead? Hey, guys, we are live and local at Great Clips, checking out all kinds of do's for the kids heading back to school. Coming up, more dad friendly do's. Plus, what do you do? If your kid comes home with head lice, we're going to tell you that's coming up next. Donald, live and local right now for the hottest hairdos for your kids this year. She's at Great Clips now with what's cool for school this year. <laughs> Lauren, good morning. That, that's right. Good morning. Also, what's cool for dads to do. We're going to finish up that. We started it in our last segment here with Abby, and we've got a ponytail. This was the look we were working on, right? Yes, yes. It's kind of nice when they've got the thick thick hair with a little bit of wave. Since she's got more of frizzy flyaways, we just put a little bit of product on the side, gel, mousse, whatever uh, works best for you, and just did a messy ponytail and kind of scrunch it a little bit and gives it and we talked about style. this, the messy look is in. The 80s are yes, in right now. Yes, they're coming back. Now you can also do a messy bun. So yes. Stephanie showed us how and to do that. And all you do with that, the more rat tailing, the better. Because okay. then the thicker the bun. And all you're going to do is just wrap it around and you'll work with it to how you like it. Yep, and then just put a rubber band and around And then it, just right? put a rubber band, either a rubber band or uh, bobby pins work the best. Okay, perfect. And then she will be good to go for school. Yes. Now, Madison over here, we've put her hair down, and this is probably as simple as it gets. This it's is really hard for anybody to mess this up. So true. Right? This is probably the simplest style for dads to do, is you'll just bring over the side a little bit, and you can do with your fingers or with a brush, and you'll use either a glittery clip, something fun, or something as simple as just a bobby pin. Kind of push that hair back to the side pull it over and there you've got kind of an easy style. Go. It's out of her face. It looks nice and neat. Very, very simple. Very simple yes. for dad. All right. Now, I want you to step up for a second. We're going to talk about head lice. Yes. And you're going to show everybody how to look for head lice. Now, yes. I don't have head lice. We hope, no. right? <laughs> and you're going to show us how to how to really look for that because yes. when school starts back up, this is a time where head lice spreads very easily. And it's very common. I mean, kids playing outside with other children, kind of touching each other's hair. The best way to do, uh, to look for head lice is always gonna be towards the back of the hair and towards the nape. And all you're gonna do is just kind of separate the hair. You'll pull it out and you'll kind of just look right closer to the scalp right in there is where you're going to see it most. I think it gets mistaken a lot with dandruff. Um, if it hasn't hatched yet and it's eggs, it'll just be little dots all over the head and, and very itchy. And when in doubt, go, go to the store and buy a lice yes, kit. Yes, best thing to do is go straight to the store, get a lice kit, get it taken care of, toss all brushes and combs that you have at throw home. Throw them away, so don't throw, even wash them. I would throw them away. Just You don't want to run the risk of not getting every single one and it coming back. You have a relapse with yes, the lice. Yes. We do not want that. All right, guys, 
We've done looks for the dads. We've got, we've, we know what to do if we get head lice. We've yes. showed all the great styles for elementary, middle, and high schoolers. Next, we're going to talk about the college kids. You're going to show me some do's that I can DIY, right? Yes. Very cool. All right, guys, we'll send it back to you for now. All right, good stuff, Lauren. Thank you. Eight. Hey guys, coming up after the break, we are live and local from Great Clips talking about dorm friendly hairdos. You do not want to miss it. That's next. Now, are you desperate to find a new do for your kid? Well, we've got all the latest hair trends for back to school this morning. We did the small kids before. Now we're doing the big kids. Lauren McDonald is live and local right now at Great Clips. And I'm curious, Lauren, what exactly is a dorm friendly do? We're about to tell you. Okay. It is so exciting. We're about to tell you dorm friendly dudes. That's what we're talking about right now. We've got Steven. He's a freshman at UCCS. So congratulations. It's a big time for you. So it is important that you have a hairstyle that you can just go because let me tell you something. I've been there. I've been in college. You're going to be studying all the time, but you also want to look nice for the ladies, right? So you want something that's going to be easy, breezy, and good to go. So Stephanie Coleman, she's the lead stylist here at Great Clips. She's been showing us all kinds of do's all morning long for the kids heading back to school. So let's talk about Steven's hairstyle and cut. So college kids are keeping a little bit more length on the side. They tend to keep it a lot longer on top to have some to either kind of droop over the forehead or be able to push back into kind of more of a messy comb over. But they're not going as short as the younger kids these days. They're keeping a little bit of length on the sides and back. You think, you know, they have a little bit of freedom mm -hmm. from being younger and stuff, so they're keeping it a little bit longer just to have a little bit more to mess with. A little more conservative, yes. too. And this is easy to just throw a baseball cap on, too. Yes, throw a baseball cap on. You don't have too much length hanging out from the sides. And then if you style, same, just a little bit of gel. Mm -hmm. Work with your fingers, and you've got a great style. Very good. All right, now we're going to talk about do-it-yourself yes. hairstyles. Now, I'm very basic. I typically just leave my hair down. But you say I can switch it up a little bit. Yes, yes, and same. I think low maintenance, easy convenience is, is the same for a lot of the college girls. So something that, if they've got some length to their hair, something that's a little bit easy but very stylish is same. You'll kind of do a messy part, nothing too clean. Bring the hair around and you can kind of roll it down and have a twist going on around the head. You'll leave a little bit of tassel out for, to kind of still give that messy look. Little tassel. And just roll it down. And you can roll it under, you can roll it up, and then you'll just stick, pull this to the side, and then you can just either stick a clip mm -hmm. or you can do a rubber band just to hold it in place. Very nice. Very and nice. something very, very light, very messy, nothing too, too clean or classic. Mm -hmm. And then another style that's very popular with the girls is just the messy bun on top with the rest of the hair down. Not spending too much time on the rest of the hair because you kind of still want it to have a little bit of a messy look, not too clean. And then I think a lot of people think this is just for the younger kids, but the college girls are doing it too. I think it's a pretty popular style amongst all age groups. So it's not just age specific. Right. And you can do this in a couple different ways. You can kind of twist it like that just to give it a little bit of lift right in here. And you'll just hold those pieces that like to uh, split with a little bit of hair product. And same, you're just going to twist it up until how you like it into either a little messy bun or a little bit more cleaner. You'll stick a bobby, bobby pin right pin. in there just to hold it. Very nice. And I think, Stephanie, you can agree with me all day long, whether they're in preschool or whether they're in college. The theme this morning has been low maintenance and easy. Very easy low maintenance. And beautiful. That's what we all want, right? We want our hairstyles to look great. And especially, it's uh, back to school season. We all want to go in with a good look. Thank you to yes. all the models that came out this morning. Thank you to oh, you, thank Stephanie. You for I know us. I have definitely learned something. And yeah, heading back to the station in style this morning. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, back to you. I've noticed also a theme this morning is you want a little messy, to look a little messy, yeah, right? Yeah, the messy is in. Not there too clean go. cut. Oh, yeah. That's easy, right? Okay, Lauren, thanks. Good stuff. All right. Time now is 842, and for a Fox 21 Health.